even on the internet lately, I have no doubt in my mind that you've seen Chainsaw Man, one of the most hyped anime of the season, totally shredding its way through the internet. And this is how you can take the powers of the Chainsaw Devil and claim them as your own in D&D. Also, really quick, if the idea of playing your favorite movies, video games, or anime as D&D experiences sounds fun to you, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already because that's exactly what we do here on this channel. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into today's video. Now, first and foremost, how exactly are you supposed to be able to get the power of the Chainsaw Devil? In my opinion, you can have it be a devil pack like it is in the show and manga, or you can have it be something as simple as your players having to fight the Chainsaw Devil in its raw form, and after defeating it, they gain an item that allows them to transform. How you get the ability to transform into the Chainsaw Devil is up to you, but with that being said, this is what the form can do. Now, really quickly, before we dive full on into the power of the Chainsaw Devil form, it's important to mention that this is extremely powerful, and because of that, to make things a little bit more fair in D&D, I want to have this come at a cost. That being said, in order for a user to actually take the shape of the Chainsaw Devil, they're going to have to sacrifice half of their remaining hit points. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it's totally worth it because the powers that you get from this form are absolutely insane. First things first, aside from the brute attack power that the Chainsaw Devil has, which we will definitely be talking about in a second, it's also important to mention that there are a ton of extra perks that come along with this transformation. Also, just a disclaimer, I will not be doing any spoilers for the storyline, so don't worry about that. But that being said, I will be diving into the abilities that the Chainsaw Devil has, so if you don't want to know all of those, go ahead and leave, but otherwise stick around because it's going to get crazy. Now, transforming into the Chainsaw Devil is very similar to Wild Shape for Druids. The only real difference is that it comes with some incredible perks that aren't normally readily available in the Wild Shapes table. For example, per the manga, Chainsaw Devil is incredibly resilient and strong. So to show that off, the base AC of the Chainsaw Devil while in this form is is going to be 18. And on top of that, the Chainsaw Devil is also incredibly fast, so add a plus 20 foot speed to whatever your base movement is. And one additional trait that the Chainsaw Devil's form has, as we've seen in the manga, and I have no doubt also the anime, the Chainsaw Devil is able to fight unfazed while completely engulfed in flame. So we're going to also add resistance to fire while you're in this form. And if you really want to make things a little bit more crazy, feel free to add on some extra resistances or immunities if you feel so inclined. That being said, be a little careful not to make it too OP. So with just these, the Chainsaw Devil is now extremely difficult to hit, incredibly fast, and also able to endure a lot of different types of damage, definitely turning you into a true devil and a formidable foe for any enemy you happen to meet on the battlefield. But what really makes the Chainsaw Devil so iconic is its ability to turn any battle into a blood splattering spectacle with absolutely ruthless attacks. So with that being said, let's go ahead and break those down. First and foremost, it's pretty easy to tell, but the Chainsaw Devil has three chainsaws that protrude out of its body, two from its arms and one from its head. And with those three chainsaws come a pretty surprising array of attacks. So first off, with the chainsaws on your hands, you are able to do a 2x multi-attack with 1d10 slashing damage per hit and on top of that we're gonna add wounding. Taken from the sword of wounding what this means is once per turn as you slash into your enemy you are able to add a count of wounding on top of them. So at the start of their turn the enemy that you have now wounded takes 1d4 damage for every single time you have wounded them. This causes any enemy that you fight to have to deal with you quickly otherwise they're gonna be completely torn apart by all of the wounds that you've inflicted on them every single turn. Now, if you decide to attack with your head, obviously it's not going to be as powerful as your arms, but it comes with a huge bonus. As you feast upon the flesh of your enemies, you'll be doing 1d12 piercing damage, but just like we've seen in the manga and the anime, when the Chainsaw Devil feasts on blood, it actually allows it to heal. So as we've seen in a couple different D&D weapons, we're going to give this attack the special ability to heal the user, equivalent to the amount of damage that they inflict with this 1d12 attack. But all of these so far are close quarters attacks, which makes sense because the Chainsaw Devil naturally has chainsaw powers. But chainsaws have chains. And just like in the manga, you're going to be able to have the ability to lasso in enemies and pull them in with those chainsaws from 30 feet away. Acting very similar to nets in D&D, by casting the Chains of Hell, you are able to rope in an enemy from 30 feet away, causing the grapple condition, and for every two feet of movement that you expend, you are able to pull the enemy one foot closer to you. And lastly, one of the abilities that makes the Chainsaw Devil so frightening to devils everywhere is the fact that it has the ability to erase names. Now, it hasn't come up in the anime yet, so I'm not going to spoil exactly what that means, but just for the sake of having all the Chainsaw Man's powers in full, we're going to add on Banishing Smite as an ability that you're able to cast in the Chainsaw Devil form and add on to any of the attacks that you can cast. The only difference being that we're going to take the 5d10 force damage that comes with a normal Banishing Smite and instead transform that into 5d10 slashing damage as your opponents are completely eviscerated by chainsaws. And with that being said, you are now ready to completely eviscerate your enemies in true Chainsaw Devil form as you rip and tear your way to victory. I hope you all have fun with this one. I highly recommend that you watch the anime or read the manga if you're not already. But with that being said, what do you want me to cover next? Leave it in the comments down below, and until next time, keep questing.